Gentlemen, this is the preliminary briefing for the major joint service exercise of this particular year, which will be a joint service exercise in the North Queensland area operating in the Gulf and the Cape York Peninsula. Gulf The yours, your magazines up. Fill your mags up. Hurry right up, fill your mags. Advance continues. Right, today you're going off on an exercise into the Cape York Peninsula. Just moving around aircraft, not to do that sort of silly thing. And drivers, at my command, elevation 309. Initial gun position, square 3742. 3742. Centre of arc, 5900 mils. The first phase of the exercise will involve the air movement by C-130 Hercules. I've arranged all your vehicles to be uh, refueled and transport compound at tomorrow morning. Charlie Radio, Sierra like a war, only it's not. No, start again. Dear Mum, I'm riding in the back of this gun tractor, which is a truck, which is why the writing will be a bit shaky. What's the sense of worrying about him? Oh, I just wonder if he's getting looked after. Well, you never know. <laughs> I should know, after three years, isn't it? One thing that happens to you in the army is you get looked after. Day and night. Always on your back. I lay ten to one there's someone yelling at him right now. Hey, Blake! Hey! Get out of view! Dear Mum, you sure get a chance to look at some stuff, like on the way to this exercise. We got the word the other day it was on, and we had to pick up some gear to take out in the bush. It's the last cleaning gear you're going to get. Your gun seems to have used more than anybody else's. Next, please. I'll be sleeping in a hoochie, which is a little tent. 
It's only big enough for... for... Get on, Jonesy. Cut it out, eh? Now you're a married man. Come on, Jonesy, let's go. He's disappeared already. I just hope he's not in rough company, that's all I can say. Rough company? Listen, what could be rougher than young Mick Fielding down the road? A pair of them here and round the town. Every time the phone rang, I thought it was the police. You're not having another. It's only my second. Don't know what's got into you today, Mother. Right, well, fellas, mount up! to mount up, you'd think we were on horses instead of wheels. Speaking of wheels, Gaz Mead's fixing up the EFC real good. We cut her back, we polished her, and it looks like the original. We get stuck into her every day, which is just as well we knock off early. Anyway, the other day I had this great idea. Hey, why don't we throw a 186 into it? A 186? You're kidding! No, I'm not. I've seen one down at Lumbers, rebuilt, and we could afford it easy. Hey! Your mum doesn't want to hear about the car, Jonesy. She wouldn't even know what you're talking about, especially about the 186. The 186? We're going to throw our 186 in the FC. What? Yeah, well, we've got a 186 pressure plate in it now. What's the motor now? The 145? It's the old side plate, about equivalent to a 145, a bit under. Like in the room next door, has got himself a Quaker 900. It's real good condition. Jeez, they got some power. Only trouble is you can't carry a set foot on a bike. Next long weekend, I'll be heading south. You can pick them, he's zooming down the big ones at Noosa. That's our CO, which is our commanding officer, like the boss. He's not a bad bloke when he's not worrying about generals and stuff. I reckon he must be looking down at us like we're ants. Mate, yeah? 
Hi there, Mick. How's it going? Working and getting out to work as usual? You got the army all wrong, mate. When we're not seeing the country, like the highest mountain in Queensland, we keep the same hours as you. When we knock off at 4.30, Gaz and me hop in the FC and move in on the town. Yep, an FC. Cop that. How's the old FJ going? The only trouble you have with them is the handbrake. The old FJ. Hey, buy me boots, not a your mug. About time you got a new pair, Ando. Ma'am, I've been there, boots, mate. They've been there and so have I. New Guinea, New Zealand, Hawaii, you name it. Ah, uh, listen to the old soldier. Listen to the old man. Your father says the only thing he learnt in the army was to look after his feet. All that marching. Sometimes I really wish you'd taken up a steady job. You write to Jimmy again, Mrs. Jones. <laughs> Pity his father never writes to him. I'll get around to it. Anyway, he'll be home on leave in a few weeks. Oh, well. I'll tell him you're looking forward to seeing him. I'm looking forward to having him mow the lawn for a change. What can we do for you, Mick? I just wondered if I could borrow them ring spanners of Jim's. Oh, sometimes, Mick. I really wish Jimmy had taken a job where he could learn something like you. Tell you what, I'm not that sold on it. <laughs> Pleased to be home for tea each night. Never seen nothing new, neither. Number one, four, seven, two, four. Number one, four, seven, two, four. Number two, three, seven, niner, seven. Number two, three, seven, niner. Echo, four, seven, five, four. Echo, four, seven, five, four. I've been amazed myself what I've learned in the last six months. All this stuff seemed real complicated at first. I reckoned I'd never get the hang of it. But it's like any trade, I guess. You get the good oil from the blokes who know. We've got some real good gear. It's a computer. It makes calculations quick as a flash. I've got this ambition. Like I'm going to work all that stuff. It's cool. 5383. Three. Elevation 305. Echo. Pop!
Broken oil lines. I knew it. I knew it. What's up, what? What's up, what's up? Broken oil line. What happens now? Get it fixed. That's what? What's the hold up, Sergeant? Broken oil line, sir. Right, I'll get the mechanic for you. Right. Phipps, Watson, you stay your guard the truck. The rest of you dirty looking lot. You get exactly 20 minutes. God, it meant me to be a soldier. He would have given me green wrinkly skin. <laughs> Dear Mum, I'm floating on my back down the river and the sun is shining and the birds are singing and it's a beautiful day. Up here, I can combine swimming with my other favourite sport. Uh-oh, that's not what Mum expects. I'll start again. <coughs> Football. Our regiment's going to win the comp this year, that's for sure. We've never been fitter and we've got some real good men. I reckon I'll get a Guernsey in the reserves with a bit of luck. Waker, he's our half. Look at him go. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, you dope. Did you see that? Didn't get rid of it when he should have. The dope. Tell you what, I've never had so much sport before. Not even at school. They train those army mechanics too good. Couldn't have taken them ten minutes to fix that oil line. Out here in the bush, what's more? Old Tomo at the service station back home. You count on a week. Oh well. Nah, thanks, mate. I want to finish this letter. No, nah, thanks. I read them all. Haven't seen you doing much actual writing, Jonesy. I've been thinking about it, haven't I? Dear Mum, we're going to a dance that day after we get back from the exercise. Not that I'm much on dancing. Actually, the social life's a bit hectic, really. A bloke has to watch himself, knocking back invitations left, right and centre. I've been writing a letter to me mum. What'd you tell her, Jonesy? I told her, dear mum. 